Good day everyone. So for today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a maintenance start on the emergency generator. So let's start. So I'll click Shift F1. Click Shift F1 to run. Then that's what I've observed. So we have low level alarms. You have only 15 minutes to fulfill the assessments. Okay. So I'll tap up diesel oil, I'll top up lube oil, and then I'll also going to top up the expansion tank, the radiator. Easy, easy. So, uh, we also have here low voltage, so I'm going to put this one in, in, I'm going to go back to the emergency generator, and then uh, close this valve, then close also this valve and also this valve to close okay so we already have uh, enough diesel oil lube oil and water and easy easy our battery is going to uh, increasing it's increasing already so we have a malfunction okay start your motor failure I'm going to acknowledge this one double click so now it's rectified. I'm going to the panel directory. I'm going to check here for the alarms, knowledge, for the auto, auto chief. Then this should turn to uh, be acknowledged. This one, generators in sequential request. I'll go also to the um, bridge control. Then I'll reset the loss of response. Okay, so we already have two remaining alarms the 19 and 20 so i'll go back to the emergency generator so this one will take some time so i will just uh, simulate this one because we have a limited time i will uh, adjust so so now the alarm set point is 20 so i will just put this one up to 20 <laughs> this one also to 21 okay now going to close so we already have enough uh, voltage so i'll go to the electrical power plant and going to switch on the voltage control so this should indicate here 15 okay now easy easy let's go to the emergency generator once again and i'm going to switch hand pump on or I will just do manual hand pump. Yeah, so now I'm pumping. I'm pumping. So normally we will, normally it should be around 200 bars. So at 200 bars, I will stop my pumping. And this one, this is a low level alarm of our diesel oil day tank. This will be topped up when our emergency generator is already running because this one this one this one these are a uh, shaft driven pumps so if the emergency generator is already running this uh, transfer pump or lift pump for the diesel oil will also run and from here diesel oil will go to the diesel oil day tank okay easy easy and then almost there <clears throat> almost 200 bars okay now it's 200 bars so i'll stop doing the hand pump and I think we are ready for the hydraulic start of our emergency generator. So to start hydraulically, I will uh, click start. Okay. Now our generator, emergency generator is now running. So as you can, as you notice, the alarm already disappeared and we already have a, a increasing level of a diesel oil tank. So from here, service tank, then it will go to the our daily tank for diesel oil. So normally uh, we started our about 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so let's just run it for around one minute since this is only a simulation 
but in reality we are uh, uh, starting it hydraulically testing it for around 30 minutes to one hour yeah just to make sure that there there will be uh, no uh, malfunctions during the operation of our emergency generator so far so good we're doing fine after this one we're going to start uh, the emergency generator uh, with the use of our battery so let's just finish this hydraulic start so far so good no alarms okay one minute already passed so i will now stop our emergency generator is easy our emergency generator is stopping as you can see there is a decrease in the rpm okay so our emergency generator is now fully stopped so i will now use i will now start it with the use of the battery so to do a battery start just click start button then your emergency generator should start there is already an increase in RPM. Okay, so far so good. I think that's it. We've already passed the exercise. We've done the topping up of our diesel oil, our uh, lube oil, some tank, an expansion tank, and we've rectified some uh, malfunction alarms on our emergency generator. And then we've managed to test it on hydraulical hydraulically starting and everything was fine and now so far we've done also a battery start and nothing is abnormal so that's it we're just going to maintain this one and i hope that you learn that's it thanks